Britons are dethroned. 30 in the world a ranking, and that's the highest she's ever been, enjoying her third week at her career high. Her win-loss record for last year, 17 individual tournaments, reached the final of one of them, the Belgium International. So she obviously likes playing here in Belgium. Now she's played two matches so far. There was only one group match to be played in uh, Group 3. Lost to Kirsty Gilmore of Scotland in that group match. And then yesterday in the quarter-final against France, she lost to Awaran in three games. So Anatia Madsen, the 20-year-old from Copenhagen, she too is at a career high, a uh, world ranking of 37. And she, like her opponent, is enjoying her third week at a career high ranking. A win-loss record for last year, will she uh, reach three uh, finals in three consecutive tournaments played? The Portuguese International, the Finnish International, and of course those European Championships. I was telling you about the silver medalist in Kazan. Uh, the European Ready Individual play. Championships last year, losing out in three games uh, to Carolina Marin, who has since become the world champion as well. Bert van Horenbeck, uh, the umpire, and uh, Paul Buffum, the service judge. So a must-win situation for the birthday girl. If she loses this... Uh, Germany are out of the competition. They've been finalists on the last two stagings of these championships. 2011 in Amsterdam and, and of course when they won the gold medal, won the title two years ago in Aranskoya. On my right, Germany, represented by Karin Schnauzer. On my left, Denmark, represented by Anatea Matsen. Jeremy Surf, Lovell, Blake. So Karen Schnazer of Germany. Getting this women's singles encounter underway against Anatea Madsen. One love. First meeting between these two players. Never met each other previously. Not in international competition. Good retrieving. What a good rally. Excellent rally. Incredibly quick, this youngster from Denmark. Not the tallest of athletes. Uh, One metre sixty, that's just under five foot three. But what she lacks in height, she makes up for in enthusiasm and speed. Good skill from Madsen. Reverse slice, creating the disguise and deception. Look at the racket head there. Look how it swipes across the line of the shuttle, as we were seeing on the some of the net pushes from Victor Axelson in the men's singles. Yeah, I like those punch clears too, and that one. 
That's a good backhand, though, from Schnauzer to get herself out of trouble. Yeah, there it is again, the reverse slice, creating huge disguise and deception. Well, apart from the whole semi-final tie scenario, I always think it's interesting when you have medalists from a major championships, as both these players are. Uh, silver and bronze medalists from last year's European individual championships. It's an interesting story with Schnauzer. In the spring of 2013, she quit the national team, played internationally as an independent player, and then after the European Women's Team Championships in Basel in Switzerland uh, last year, rejoined uh, the Women's Singles Training Centre in Mulheim. Uh, just trains there twice a week, and now here she is. German number one women's singles player. Thank goodness she wasn't lost from the sport. Well, this really is nip and tuck all the way at the moment. <laughs> oh, there's the speed I was talking about coming forward to the net because she's there so early, Madsen. She's got so many options. Look at this, she could have pushed it. Instead, just sways the body one way, plays the shuttle the other, blocking it back to the net for the outright winner. Oh, she could have left that. That was going wide. So quick, she can reach shuttles that are going out with ease. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that was definitely going wide. Look at that again. Quick forward. Got the options the last time she played a little block. At that time, the flat push. So it's really good variation coming forward from Madsen. Look at that. Super play. Well, there has never been more than two points between these two players so far in this opening game. And that was in the very early stages. 3-1, Schnauzer led. 
There was those since then. Never more than one point in it. Oh, that's delightful. Well, we've got two fine athletes on court. Both great retrievers of the shuttle. Well, a two-point cushion has been opened up again. And once again, it's in favour of the German. 11-9 at the mid-game interval. One of three straight points. opponent backhand net then deep forehand corner then brought her forward to the forehand net where she didn't reach it in time but that's classic singles tactics make your opponent move from front to back and front again and once again scores back level So it's been a run of three straight points from Schnauzer to go to the mid-game interval and since the mid-game interval three straight points from uh, Madsen. Oh my goodness. Well, totally off balance as she played that shot and in fact indicating to the umpire that the perspiration on the handle of the racket just slipping. That's why she made such an error. That's a long, long way to run the full diagonal of the court. Yeah, she's enjoyed a lot of success, has Anatia Madsen, with that little hold and push deep into Schnauzer's forehand corner. She plays it very flat, so there's no chance of really getting up over the shuttle. And playing it down, that's gone wide. 
Ah, it's lovely. Well, I thought this would be a good match. And so it's proving to me. Just wide. Oh, it's just long. Yeah, I like the idea, though, of that punch clear. 17, I was talking about that shot an awful lot during the Super Series finals with Tai Su Ying, winner of that event. It's the way women's singles is developing, and it's lovely to see a young Danish player using that same technique. Yeah, there was the push deep into the forehand corner. This time Schnarcher getting out of trouble. Good rally. Oh, she's overdone it. It's wide. Well, the first time in the whole entirety of this women's singles game that there's been more than a two point difference. Now four point advantage to the German. Great net shot. Yeah, once again. Really pressurising that deep forehand corner of the German. Yeah. opportunities for the birthday girl the German Getting forward early, once again, serving Madsen well. Just wide, and this time, a Karen Schnarzer converts. Oh dear, is she all right? Holding that knee. She's had serious knee injury problems in the past. I do hope she's all right. 
Opening game 21-18 for Schnauzer and Germany. One game to the good in this women's singles. Oh, it was the ankle actually that gave way, the right ankle. And then fell heavily on that right knee. Now I can see her coach having a good old look at the knee. And I have a feeling that yesterday that she had to have a cold spray applied to that knee when she was playing Sashina Irvine's Waran uh, of France. But their confirmation of the opening game to the German Karen Schnauzer. 21-18 in 17 minutes. Jesper Larsson, the Danish coach there. Former European champion in the men's doubles last. This is exactly what Germany needed to keep hopes alive. Two love down in the overall tie after the first two matches. Here in the third match, the opening game to the German Karen Schnauzer. Oh, look at that. What a rally. Unbelievable. Total, total commitment. Well, most players would have given up on that rally. But not Schnauzer. Known for her fighting spirit. How on earth did she get that back? Let alone that second one. And then the dive on the third one. Just too much for her. Oh, what an extraordinary rally, though. Yes, just wanting to try out the new racket. Standard courtesy amongst the players. Yes. Yeah, she's not happy with that one. Takes another. Oh. 
Well, the run comes to an end, but it was an excellent five points from the Dane. Good judgment on that back line too. Oh, indecision. I think she was going to leave it. Well, after that incredibly close opening game, What a difference here in the second. Madsen absolutely running away with it at the moment. Oh, yes. Brilliant. A brilliant cross-court smash from Schneiser. So to the mid-game interval, Anatia Madsen with a very healthy lead, eight point advantage. Well, this is a situation where I think that the German coaches need to make an executive decision tell Schnauzer to keep fighting for this second game or whether she should really let this second game go so far adrift and therefore concentrate on the being ready for the third and deciding game of course that sort of theory can't be condoned because it is a requirement in our sport and indeed I think in every sport that you give the best effort. 11, and this is where the grey area is. Best effort to win the entirety of the match. Or best effort to win each game within a match. That's the point of debate. Well, knowing the character of uh, Schnauzer here, I suspect that she will keep fighting. I don't think she'll give away 
the game, and certainly when she's handed gifts like that. A couple more points, and all of a sudden it becomes believable again. Well, that's not helping her cause. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Really turned and opened the shoulders, looking as if she was going to play the powerful smash. And then just imparting slice on the shot, creating the big angle. The acute angle, I should say. wide as well and this really is a lesson to all badminton players that it's always worth a fight 3-11 down in this second game there was me pondering the thought as to whether she should give this second game away not a bit of it Now it's looking a lost cause. It's gone long. Three points away from forcing a third and deciding game. Oh, good defence. Yeah, not a bad net shot either. Oh, look at that. A moment of magic uh, from Karen Schnarza. Just long. Nineteen 
Mm. Oh, it's difficult for both players when the scoreline is such a difference. So many points adrift. Keep the concentration. So a whole host of game point opportunities for Denmark in the form of uh, Anatia Madsen, but only needs the one. Closes out game number two, 21-11. And the momentum, I have to say, very definitely with uh, Denmark. Excellent second game from the Danish youngster, the 20-year-old from Copenhagen. Yeah, confirmation, one game apiece. And Denmark are just one game away from booking their place in the final once more. Fourteen times Denmark have been European mixed team champions. Been in the final of this championship. 21 times from the last and only previous 22 championships. That is a phenomenal record. as the Danish fans just take on board some sustenance keep themselves going interesting that the German coach using all of his allotted time to talk to Schnauzer Nicely played.
Oh my goodness. Is she all right? She's lost her footing as she tried to move forward to the net there. Mm. Seemed quite heavy landing on her back. Oh yes, force the short lift with the quality of the net plate, did Schnauzer. Yeah, apologises for the good fortune of the net court. way there my goodness wouldn't have been the first time I'd seen a player trying to leave a shuttle and then the shuttle hitting their body before it landed out which of course is a fault but did well there Well, this is where experience really comes into its own. The experience of the, the German Schnauzer having lost that second game. And I think I said that the momentum was very much with the Dane. It's good. Just calmly got on with the job in hand. Hasn't been phased by that. Uh, built up a nice lead. Now all of a sudden it's the Dane that's Gonna have to come from behind. Just wide, and therefore the players change ends with Karen Schnazer having a six point advantage. Thank you. 
So, Schnauzer, who in this German campaign so far this year has not won a match, lost against Scotland, lost against France. Looking good at the moment for her first victory, and what a moment to do it if she could close this out. Super backhand. Oh no, she's missed it. Point cushion now for Schnauzer. Well, the fans here would love to see this semi final tie going to at least a fourth match and possibly a fifth. That's a good clear. Well, now with an eight-point advantage, a fourth match looks a distinct possibility. In fact, I should probably say probability. for certain she won't give up fighting Anna Dear Madsen oh that was going wide that's definitely gone long and the eight-point deficit has been halved. Only four points in it now. Make that three points in it. Madsen to play the backhand from deep in court. It's terribly difficult. That one there to get a good length off that backhand clear. Played it short and invited the winning shot from the German.
It's going wide. Well, a couple of more points from the, the German. And maybe even just one more point and she will begin to feel that this match is hers. Well, that was very, very important as far as this Dane was concerned. Now that's a gift. That's another gift. Yeah. Nerves perhaps getting to Anna Tia Madsen. gone long. Well, it will take a monumental effort now from Madsen to fight back. Yeah, well that's a good rally by the young Dane. Running repairs to the head. Two little holds and push down the Danish forehand side. And then the third down the backhand. And a match point opportunities. Six of them for Germany. It's going wide. Yeah, what a wonderful way to celebrate your 30th birthday with victory in the women's singles for Karen Schnazer. Keeping this semi-final tie alive. All the pressure was on Schnazer. It was a must-win situation for the defending champions. But she has delivered and we will have the fourth match in the tie, uh, which is men's doubles coming up in just a moment. But what a terrific women's singles encounter. Their confirmation of Schnazer's victory. 21-18, 11-21, 21-14 in the deciding game in a match lasting 51 minutes. Sehr wichtig, dass auch gewinnen, die zwei, nicht halten und weiß. Genau, ich versuche alle da, um die zwei zu unterstützen und ich denke, es wird bestimmt ein bisschen gut geschoben. Okay, danke schön.
Ik had natuurlijk uh, straks een feestje nodig voor de andere jaren. Maar eerst hopen en bidden dat haar uh, twee landgenoten zo hard de oorlog winnen. Zowel de Duitse als de andere kant van huis aan de kwalificatie voor de finale. Morgen, dat is wat ze daar gaan zien. Goed dan ook. Mens Douglas. Denmark is represented by Miss Peter Collier and Miss Conrad Peterson. Karen, happy birthday first and foremost, and at the end of that match, I just saw you exhale. It was like a huge relief to win this for you and for the team, of course, but uh, an up and down tournament for you and uh, a big relief, this one. Yes, of course. I'm happy to win it now because after yesterday, um, yeah, it was still on my mind, yeah. for sure, <laughs> also now. Yeah. But now I thought, okay, now I have to change it and don't think about it. And so I'm happy that I won this after this leading. So I have to continue now. I'm not ready 100%, yeah. but uh, I hope it's coming. Next tournaments are coming, so I'm looking forward. Three sets yesterday, and uh, you looked out of it in the third game. It was uh, a little bit different. This time, people maybe were thinking, oh, three sets, Anatia will uh, more than likely try and run you off the court, but it didn't happen like that. You, you could stay with her, and you dictated uh, the rallies. Yes, uh, I think after the first set, I was really down, and my legs were very heavy. Mm -hmm. And she made it quite good in the seconds, but uh, I think in the second there was not so many rallies, so that was good for me that I can yeah, relax a bit and yeah. get new energy. So then the third I was totally ready and I thought, okay, now this set and then I'm over. <laughs> so. The guys are going out, uh, Fuxi and Max, uh, not a pair we normally see together. Uh, you've thrown a few curveballs, let's call them, at, at Denmark and uh, Conrad and Colding will not be used to this. Uh, do you think they have a chance against these Danes? I think it could be a quite interesting match because Peter and, uh, I mean, Michael and uh, Max, they're quite good um, people, yeah, like defense and attacking. Yeah. So I think for the Danish it was quite, yeah, like when they saw how we play, it's a bit like, okay, what they are doing. But I think it's good to try something else like they have done with Anatia because I thought I have to play against Lena. So, but I think the both Danish are very good players. We have nothing to lose, I think, in this match. And, um, but you never know in, uh, in one match, because now it's 2-1, so I hope we can get one more match. Uh, so also for the people who are here to see five matches, but let's see, I hope the best. And the reason Birgit didn't play today, is there any specific reason uh, as to why that, that, was, that was the case? Um, I think she's not 100% fit at the moment. Um, but I think uh, it was, yeah, they talked with her and uh, yeah, I think for the young one it's good to have a good experience and she's continuing now and back in practice so I think for the next tournament she's totally ready again. Yeah. Okay, Karen, thanks for joining us. Happy birthday again and uh, nicer day today than running in and out for doping control uh, every five seconds. <laughs> but um, go enjoy the rest of your birthday. Well done. Thank you.